the food and hospitality industry is the cornerstone of the city of Dallas. Here in downtown, around the school, there are hotels, restaurants, the West End, the Dallas Convention Center, we've got Reunion, we've got the Main Street District, we've got Harwood popping up down by American Airlines Center in Victory, Lois Greenville, Ross Avenue, Uptown, West Village. This creates a flashpoint of culinary culture and El Centro College is right in the middle of it. The Food and Hospitality Institute at El Centro College is a very diverse program with lots of options for our students. <laughs> our classes look like the United Nations. And it's a wonderful thing to have a diversity in our classroom, not only of people and culture, but also diversity of age group. <laughs> We take students from all different types of backgrounds with all sorts of types of goals and help give them the context for our industry so they can choose the path for themselves. Tuesday lunch is where students get to put into practice all the things they've learned. They're restaurant owner, manager, chef for a day. Basically, they're running it like if it was their own restaurant. This is the one class where they get to basically plan everything themselves, choose the items, and execute it through the rest of the class working in groups. For the brisket and the pulled pork, I actually learned that from my dad. The reason why I got into culinary was because I wanted to extend my knowledge on cooking food and baking. Barbecue sauce underneath. I'm actually studying food and hospitality management. I like the front of the house. I'm a lot better at it. <laughs> but I did want to learn how to cook food the proper way because at home I would mess up things and I was like, well, I don't know what I did wrong. And so this kind of helped me understand where I was messing up and where I was doing good at. I checked out a few other culinary schools, even some out of state, and El Centro's culinary program really stuck out to me. I was very serious about what I wanted to do and if there wasn't a school that was going to back me up, I didn't want to do it. So El Centro offered both, you know, being close to home, but also uh, the support I needed to really seriously pursue this career. I, I love this school, to be honest. This is the best class I've ever been in. I mean, everybody here is, wants to be here. Everybody's here to learn. Everybody's just a big family, and it's perfect. You have to enjoy serving people because, in a sense, that's what you're doing. At the most basic level, you're, you're serving somebody uh, something that you made. It's more or less like any other handcraft or arts and crafts or wherever people actually do something with their hands for somebody else. It is extremely creative. It's, I mean, loads of self-expression because you're, you're able to create something out of virtually nothing and you, I mean, get to make it completely yours. I mean, which is something that not many other majors get to do. And so to have a facility like El Centro, I mean, basically centered around that, it's, beautiful. I mean, you get to make your own works of art every day. It's, it's really nice to know that I can make people happy with food and what's better than making people happy. <laughs> so this is the dining service class. It's uh, our job to serve here and wait the tables. So I pretty much thought that being in culinary arts, I would just be a chef and I'd be stuck in the kitchen all day, but it turns out there's a whole other side because if you want to excel in culinary arts, it's not enough just to know that you can cook well. You want to be able to please your guests because you can have the best food in the world, but if you have terrible service, no one's going to want to come back to your restaurant. Because of our long history in the Dallas community and the fact that our alumni are found sprinkled throughout the North Texas restaurant and, uh, and hotel industry, People always come to El Centro College when they are looking for qualified professionals. The apprenticeship program at El Centro has been in my career for a long time, even when I was at the mansion on Turtle Creek. And even at Ferens, 
Our apprenticeship program from El Centro has been nothing but the best with studious, hardworking, professional young cooks. When we talk about the apprenticeship program, this is a very robust, probably one of the most demanding culinary education programs available. It requires 6,000 work hours over three years documented as a part of a program combined with classroom attendance. Really what we're talking about is creating extremely talented and skilled cooks who can go out and become the next top chef. I cooked a seared chicken breast stuffed with a mushroom duck cell uh, force meat. I was confident in what I was making because I've made it so many times, but just how it was set up because it was in a convention center room, so the table and how that was set up was definitely different than what I was used to practicing at work with. Because I knew what I was doing, I was able to make it look like I didn't feel disorganized when I was really in the inside freaking out because I thought I was screwing everything up. In first place, and a gold medal winner, Audrey Priest. But I didn't. <laughs> Next, we have Crystal Morrow. Crystal won a silver medal. I cooked a Malaysian chicken curry. I practiced a lot at home. My roommate got a lot of curry <laughs> dinners. <laughs> at least once a week, I was making curry. I think these competitions are important because it's a learning experience. You're learning, number one, how to be prepared, because that is a very important thing in this industry. If you're not prepared, you know, and you get hit with a rush, then you're done. <laughs> When you're cooking under pressure with people watching you, you're creating your own dish. They don't tell you what to make. And then you get critiqued by, you know, these fantastic chefs that have been in the industry for years and years. Anytime I see an experienced chef, I always listen and take notes because it's important. They know what they're talking about. But this fish, it cooks really, really fast. When a new student comes into my kitchen, it's my responsibility to make sure they're perfect. Press it like this. The apprenticeship program is basically work study. It's full-time school, full-time work. Awesome. It's um, not for the faint-hearted at all. It's, it's hard work. Before culinary, my life was, you know, um, pretty boring. <laughs> I would sit in an office all day at a computer, uh, talking on uh, conference calls on the phone. But I was talking one day at work with a coworker about our, our passions and our dreams. And he told me about El Centro's culinary program, and I didn't even know a community college offered the culinary program. So, you know, I got online, I researched it, and I thought, I can make this work, you know? This is affordable. When we get students like Chrissy, it's basically taking that workplace discipline they already have and redirecting it towards our content area. Chrissy has just latched on to an immersion into the culinary learning culture, and that's the number one advice I've given to students in my 14 years in education. When you're looking for a culinary education program, you want to find one where you can immerse yourself into that culture. Um, and that's what our most successful students have done. I graduated from El Centro with a culinary arts degree in 2009. Gabby has been with me for six years. I saw the spark in her, which I still see the spark in six years later. And it's just that real touch of, I want to be somebody in this business. And I love that in young cooks. It all happened so fast, but I got a promotion within two years, and then another promotion, and then another promotion. So it's just, if you want it, you just have to work hard. You know, with the Rich Carlton, you can go as far as you want to. The opportunities are endless. Oh, did Daryl talk to you about that Chipotle? He needed to reduce it more. Did it get reduced more? Yes. No problem. So I'm the sous chef here, so um, I'm the driver. So Dean says what he wants, and then I make it happen. And I make sure everybody else knows how it's happening, and then I also work on some of the menus with our chef de cuisine. The idea of being a chef is completely different than being a cook. You know, chefs are managers. 
It's really the management skills that a chef can get that is going to make the difference for that person in their career. And so you've got to be able to develop, you've got to be able to train, you've got to be able to recognize talent. And try to get them better. And if your bad employee is... And then on the other side of that, you've got to be able to control cost, you've got to be able to purchase food, you've got to be able to write menus. But I think the teachers at El Centro will really push you. They weren't going to put up with your BS. You're either there to do it or you're not. They also set you up for real work life experiences. That merging of classroom learning with the repetitious workplace experience, that's what makes our students very marketable in the, in the job market even before they graduate. But when they do graduate, they've got a great deal of professional experience as well as their earned credential. And so that sets them head and shoulders above all their peers. I think it's an exciting time to be in the culinary school to know that you're going to have a job when you get out because there are so many restaurants and so many opportunities in the hospitality business. It's amazing. There are a lot of opportunities. I mean, I, I, like I myself, I need people here. <laughs> you know, I need good students. El Centro has given me the opportunity to grow, and El Centro has given me a great base to be able to learn in this kind of environment. It's a growth opportunity like no other. Just kind of learning that I could make this a career and I could do what I love for years to come, without a doubt, I'm excited for the future. The culinary world has entertained every single part of me that craves something different. There's just been so many blessings in this industry that to prove to me that this is where I belong. Yeah. I feel like good things are in store for me. I'm excited about this career. I've already come so far in just, you know, a year and a half that I've been in it. So um, I'm, I'm super excited. Good things are in store. Ha, ha, ha.